डिस्पाइट बींग फ्रॉम अ बी टेक इन नॉन सी एस स्ट्रीम विद जीरो कोडिंग नॉलेज ये टाई क्रैक माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एडोबी एंड अमेजोन बट इट टुक मी थ्री ईयर्स टू गेट इट नॉट बिकॉज ऑफ द नॉन सी एस बैकग्राउंड और नो बुक कैम्प बट बिकॉज आई वेस्टेड अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम यूट्यूब ट्यूटोरियल यूडेमी एंड कोर्सेरा कोर्सेज एंड डिग थिंग्स डेट डज नॉट एड एनी वैल्यू रियलाइजिंग द मिस्टेक नाउ इफ आई गो बैक इन टाइम एंड स्टार्ट कोडिंग फ्रॉम स्क्रेच आई विल गेट द एग्जैक्ट सेम जॉब ऑफर in just 6 months so in this video i will share the road map i would follow to become a pro coder along with it i will share some insider techniques that i will use to land a high paying job in 2025 in the quickest time frame along with it i will share the resume template which gave me interview opportunities microsoft amazon and adobe so that any tech aspirant will be in the best possible position to land a high paying job faster in 2025 Let me start with my failed IIT JE story to getting a higher package than IIT. As soon as I completed my 12th, just like many of you, I aspired to crack JE Advanced and get into IIT because my elder brother Manish was studying at IIT at that time. But when it comes to JE exam, not everyone gets lucky to get what they want. My JE marks were not sufficient to get. any desired department or i so i decided to join nit delhi that's how i landed in nit delhi triple e department one good thing about engineering is in first year all departments have the same subject that's when i first learned coding and soon after that i developed a big interest in it but often i had a self doubt whether i can make a big career in coding from triple e background then my elder brother manish who was at that time pursuing btech in cs at iit ism dhanbad saw the drive in me and said rajat you know you could totally crack companies like microsoft and amazon and i thought he was joking but i took his advice seriously and started working on developing my coding skill from the beginning manish guided me to focus on building strong foundation so i started learning problem solving system design and cs basics there were days i felt like i am not getting better there were days i felt like giving up but during these times manish would sit with me talk with me explain things and keep me going if i look back at myself i understand one thing from my journey you don't need a perfect start or a perfect background you just need the willingness to put the hard work and the drive to keep going now before getting into the road map let's get the foundations right because just knowing and wanting things is not enough we need something more and that brings us to a learner mindset let's get real for a moment when i started i was super scared why because i saw the people who were already from the cs background were so ahead of me i felt like i could never catch up but keeping the self doubt aside i believed that my hard work will give results one day and it did that's when i realized hard work beats talent every single time but we need to be humble to accept that we will make mistakes we also need to understand that our learning journey won't be linear this i would call as learner's mindset now once you have a learner's mindset we then need to have a programmer's mindset trust me it took me 12 months to realize these three simple things first is never give up attitude beginning of the coding journey will be hard so we must be resilient and keep going second along with tech stacks we have to become good problem solver third do smart work along with hard work because hard work is useless if the hard work is not done in the right direction and dex work makes a good programmer once you have a learner mindset and programmer mindset congratulations you have 50% achieved your goal now let's move on to the road map also in the later part of the video i will share the technique to land a high paying job faster in 2025 and my resume template that got me interview calls from microsoft adobe and amazon so let's start with part 1 how to become a pro at coding fast step 1 learn a programming language now which programming language to learn in 2025 just like how we talk with our friends using a language which may be english or hindi programming language is a language we use to communicate with a computer i personally learn java because i wanted to do app development and app development is done best in java however i would recommend you can choose any language out of c++ java or python step 2 learn object oriented 
programming. Knowing how to code and writing good codes are two different things. Object oriented programming is all about writing good quality code. Both Java and C++ are object oriented languages. So without learning OOPS concepts, you will always struggle understanding other people's code. And also OOPS principles are asked in interviews. And it teaches you the most important skill of writing good quality clean code. So learn OOPS after learning the programming language. Step 3. Master data structures and algorithms. DSA is the cornerstone of any successful software engineer's journey, especially for those aiming for high paying roles. A strong grasp of DSA is crucial for efficient problem solving, writing clean and optimized code, and preparing for technical interviews. So how to learn efficiently? Many aspiring developers make the critical mistakes of diving head first into specific DSA topics without a solid foundation. This can lead to one shallow understanding where you may end up memorizing implementations without truly grasping the underlying principles of when and why to use a particular data structure. Second, missed opportunities. You might not fully appreciate the significance and unique advantage of each data structure. This hinders your ability to choose the most appropriate solution for a given problem. The recommended approach is build a strong foundation. Start with foundational computer science concept. The MIT Open Courseware lectures provides an excellent starting point. Gradual learning. Begin with fundamental data structures like arrays and stack, gradually progressing to more complex ones like trees, graphs, and hashing. These are some of the key courses to master DSA. Introduction to Algorithm, MIT Open Courseware. Data Structures and Algorithms Specialization from Coursera. Algorithms Part 1 and Part 2 from Coursera. Step 4. Solve problems. And not just one, a lot of them. Becoming pro at coding will never get completed without solving problems. Solving problems is non-negotiable. Start with lead code, topic-wise problems, then gradually move to company specific problem. You don't need to solve 500 questions. Solve 200, but do them properly. Understand the logic behind every solution. Step 5. Projects. In resume, the recruiters will actively look for internships or projects as it gives validation that you can solve real life problems or showcase specific skills. In my case, I realized internships are not always an option. So I focused on creating meaningful projects. These were not random assignments. I made sure they solve real problems or showcase specific skills. So how can we build good projects? Now, before explaining how to actually start to apply for jobs and get the job, one mistake you should avoid is never miss practice mock interviews. Mock interviews are very, very important. No matter how confident you are, never miss it. They prepare you for the real deal and they will help you realize how far you have come. I used multiple platforms and did mock interviews with friends. Now for part two, how to land a high paying job. Step one, the resume. You all must have heard of the term ATS everywhere. When submitting your resume to any company, you need to make sure that your resume is ATS friendly. Once ATS is taken care of, then tailor it to the company's requirement. In my journey, I make sure to revisit my resume and tailor it according to what the company's requirement was. Now the question is, how to tailor to company's requirement? Focus on these three things. First, Skills. Mention your technical skills clearly. Second, projects. Highlight two to three impactful ones. Always remember, quality over quantity. Third, achievements. Include anything that stands out, like hackathon or certification. Now the most important step, how to get calls for interviews. One mistake I see among aspirants is they don't apply to enough companies. To create more interview call opportunities, simple formula is, good resume tailored towards the job role plus apply as many places equals to more interview calls. Now, preparing a good resume is hard as there are so much information on internet regarding the resume format, what to include and all. So I suggest you to look for a mentorship from experienced person. I personally used overleaf templates to create a good resume which can stand out. Step 3. 
fail faster. I failed so many interviews at the beginning. And yeah, it sucks. But instead of giving up, I used those failures to improve. I sit down, analyze what went wrong and figure out how to fix it. Slowly but surely, I got better. Failure taught me things much better than success did it. Those lessons are the reasons I was able to crack Microsoft, Amazon and Adobe. Also a little hack that kept me motivated is I often visualize myself achieving my dreams. I had literally imagined working into Microsoft's office as an employee. I knew it sounds super stupid, but it worked. That mental picture kept me going through all the late night coding sessions and endless debugging. The only thing that can help you go on is the ability to think that you can. Now, I have told you a lie that I will give you the complete roadmap to get a high paying job. But there are certain things we need to discuss in detail, like how to make a perfect resume, the most important lead code problems, etc. These topics need separate videos in Excel. Hence, I am making it in upcoming videos. So subscribe and click the bell icon so that you are not missing them.